You made it. Oh, thank goodness I was thinking that you wouldn't want to see me again. Sorry about the mess. I didn't think you'd show up to be honest. It's good to see your face even under these circumstances. I'm sure it's been hard on you as much as it has for me, this distance we've had between us. Well, Val, I really wanted to make amends, so I got you a gift. Here, it's a genuine rocket-firing Boba Fett, original in box. I bought it for you using the remainder of the money Freddy gave me when I ran off with him. Hopefully this can start the healing process, but I understand if you're still feeling really shaky about all of this. It sure is rainy out there, huh? I think it makes the city lights look really pretty. Remember our first date? You took me to Sky Zone and we jumped around for hours. I was scared every time I made a big jump into the foam pit, but then you held my hand and jumped with me to show me there was nothing to be afraid of. That was what made me fall in love with you in the first place. You're fearless, brave, caring, dedicated, incredibly handsome, and most importantly, forklift certified. I always got shivers down my tail when you started up the forklift. You looked so manly in there. Anyways, I assume you're not here to listen to me go on and on about the past. You want to know the real reason I left, don't you? Last February, when I still worked at Freddy's, I was headed out to my car, the nice new Tesla you bought me with your NGK money. I was about to get in when Freddy stopped me. I remember he grabbed my shoulder and looked at me with this look I've never seen before. At least not from him. It was a look of passion and love, and I was so confused. He told me that he had always loved me, to which I replied that I had a loving boyfriend at home. He insisted that we go out and that he had a gift for me. It was a necklace with a shiny gold cupcake on the end of it. I couldn't resist the idea of more gifts like that, so I agreed. It was stupid of me to get pulled in like that, but something sparked in the back of my mind like fireworks. It was his plan the whole time, lure me in with gifts and promises only to use me as a trophy wife. I felt worthless, and I gave up everything for it. He doesn't know I left, or that I came back to my old apartment on the east end of the city. I snuck away from him for you, Val, my true love. There's still a lot more to tell you, but I think we need to cut this short. I love you so much. Wait, did you hear that? I need to hide. Hurry, come with me into the bathroom. I'm scared, Val. <laughs>